on the topic of Wendy Davis, she was in the news recently for a couple of different reasons. She's been giving some interviews saying that she'd rather have a lobotomy before trying to run for that same seat in Texas again. But, Dan, she also said on the topic of illegal usage of firearms in a criminal fashion, she said that it is women who are disproportionately hurt by, quote, unquote, gun violence, and that it is women because of this who should be most concerned. But yet, Dan, you know, when I when I go back and I look at, at the numbers, just a cursory glance at, at FBI uniform crime reports of the past decade, and there was a recent study out about a, about, about a year ago that corroborates this, unbelievably, it's men that are seven times more likely to be killed with illegal usage, criminally abused firearms. But yet, Wendy Davis says it's a women's issue. What say you? Well, Wendy Davis is a liberal, and of course, they're vaccinated to facts. Uh, they get the vaccine early. It works particularly well on liberals. Facts and data, they're entirely immune to it. So don't let that get in the way of a good argument, though, Wendy. Keep spouting off untruths. But what I find particularly ironic, Dana, is even if Wendy was right, um, which she's not, of course, but even if she was right, is she making an argument for or against women training themselves in the use of firearms? Now, I'm not a woman, obviously. I'm a guy, but I have two daughters. And if I said to my daughter, you know, unfortunately, it's highly likely you may be the victim of criminality and violence. Now, you may need something to defend yourself, and the appropriate tool to do that is to train yourself in the use of a firearm. That's an entirely, entirely reasonable argument to counter what she just said. I mean, I think about this all the time. I'm 6'1", 225 pounds, trained with the Secret Service, trained with the NYPD. I'm a pretty decent marksman, I, I, I think, probably not as good as you. I see some of your Instagram shots. You got some really tight groupings there. But, uh, you know, I, I've trained Brazilian <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu and mixed martial arts since, um, matter of fact, behind me, there's a plaque on the wall. I got my white belt December 17, 1994. So I've been training about 20 years. And you know what? Sometimes I go in the jujitsu school and some monster walks in who is a high school wrestler. He's 250 pounds and I'm 43. The guy's trained five minutes in jujitsu and he kicks the crap out of me on the mat. You know what, Dana? My daughter, who's 13 right now and is probably at the most in her life going to weigh about 120 pounds. That's what my, well, my wife probably wouldn't like me saying that, but she's pretty lean. She's a CrossFitter. You, uh, what are you telling me? That if someone attacks you, that you're supposed to what? What did that ad say one time? You're supposed to pee on them if they try to rape you? I, I'm not making oh, yes. this up. That like, was, that was those were the rules from the University of Colorado. Yeah, those are the rules from the University see, of Colorado, you know and they like, said that women should uh, urinate on themselves, vomit, tell your attacker that you have diseases, without understanding that your attacker, the fetish isn't uh, you, the fetish is the power over you, and that just feeds into the psychology yes. of the attacker. Right, these people rape 90-year-old women. It is a criminal power mm. trip. I, I mean, you urinate on them? This is the best you have? My advice to my daughter when she gets older and is capable of, and, we, and I train her and she can be responsible with it, is going to be learn how to use a firearm. It's the great equalizer. Your father's a pretty big dude. And you know what? There are times in my life where I may have to defend myself against a wolf in society. Don't be a sheep. Be a sheepdog or turn into a wolf yourself mm. and fight back. But gosh, this stupid advice from the left and Wendy Davis, I, I just can't take it. I mean, this is advice, right. Dana, that is literally going to get people hurt. Ignore it at all costs.